Tony, welcome to the stage. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. So, uh, Tony, it's beer o'clock. Give us a little bit of an insight into AB InBev and, and your role in the company. Yeah, so uh, AB InBev is the biggest beer company in the world. You all have drank it probably. Stella, Love, Budweiser, of course. That's another name in, in UK. We're known as the Budweiser Group. Um, I joined AB InBev a year ago as a global director for digital consumer products. And my role is to make sure that when we engage with consumers, the actual beer drinkers, we can engage with them for longer on digital platforms. Uh, and thus, this helps us um, make our marketing more effective, of course. But you know, some platforms also are a way for us to get new revenue from new additional businesses. Um, and before that, I was at Amazon, so e-commerce very close to me. I've always been in the product function. Uh, Ten years before that, I was running my own startups and working for corporates in sales and marketing. Thank you. Brilliant. Amazing. <laughs> uh, so you know this space really well. Give us a bit of an insight into the challenge that you're looking to solve today. Um, the challenge we gave the startups was around how do you engage with consumers where um, they would willingly provide consumer data to a company like AB and Bev in exchange for a value and do it in online digital space. Okay. Cool. And uh, we've got six companies pitching. Uh, we're going to give them a three-minute pitch and then uh, two minutes for Q&A. So time for one or two quick questions from Tony. And then at the end of that, I'll ask Tony to give us her thoughts on each of the companies, and then I'll get you to announce one winner. Cool, cool. So grab a seat, and uh, let's get this show on the road. We're now going to have a look at the world of content marketing and how to make that shoppable. So from Dota, here's Naomi. Hi guys, so uh, three minutes is not very long and I am terrified of that buzzer, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump straight in. I'll start by saying that Dotter are not content creators. The reality is you've got loads of content out there already. You've got your brand.coms, you've got your social channels, you might have some video content, some influencer, of course your product packaging. What Dotter does is enriches all of your existing content by making it shoppable by encouraging consumers to keep coming back and engage with information that they're looking for. How much does it cost? Where can I get it from? That stuff. We call it where to buy, but it is about so much more than delivering a link to an online retailer. For us, it's about joining the dots between consumer engagement across all of those touch points and all of the different routes to purchase. That could be online, in-store, on-demand, on-trade, off-trade. We try and cover the lot. We did build some fully live examples, but given the time limitations, I am just going to talk through a couple of scenarios. So once you're in the Dota platform, we use a Lego brick type approach to build out the perfect shoppable experience for that execution. So we look at the campaign objectives, business priorities, and consumer use cases, those kind of things. Um, and then we apply a layer of personalization over the top of that so that at the moment a consumer engages, we know who they are, where they are, what they're doing, and we can deliver a fully dynamic, customized experience. So let's say uh, you swipe up on an Instagram campaign. The moment you swipe up, we know that it's 6 o'clock on a Friday night. We know you're in London. We know you're on a mobile device. We even know that it's 25 degrees outside. We might present you a pub finder as your first uh, interaction point. Get you to the pub, why not? Uh, somebody else swipes up on that exact same campaign, but this time it's two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. Let's give them a store locator. Let's drive them into store to make a purchase. And then over here, I swipe up on that campaign, nine o'clock on a Saturday night. Show me the on-demand providers. I need my beer now. Give me the on-demand providers and maybe back that up with the online retailers. So it's about providing, I guess, shopper interactions based on a combination of what we know about the user at the moment that they're engaging, what we know about previous users who've interacted with that activity, and of course, your, your business priorities and so on. In a world of instant gratification, we, uh, excuse me, we are delivering that for shoppers. We're giving them the information they want instantly, straight away. And alongside that, we are giving you insights that can genuinely move the needle when it comes to your media performance, when it comes to your customer relationships, uh, your shopper marketing teams, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to finish off by answering what I hope is the burning question, which is what do I get for my 20 grand? The answer is 
everything. Uh, pick a brand for 12 months. We will make literally everything shoppable, every touch point you've got. And we will provide all of the insights out of that so you can personalize and strengthen your customer relationships, your consumer relationships, and leverage those insights to make sure you are maximizing every media dollar you're spending. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting concept, you know, especially for us as brands having to aggregate all of our potential points of sale and points of consumption. Mm -hmm. If you have run any tests or you have a prototype, how does that compare to, let's say, if I have a Tesco app? Do I really am more or am I more engaged as a consumer from your experience? So I think for me, it's, a, it's about consumer choice. So there are shoppers that are going to go to the Tesco app on a Sunday night and they're going to do their shopping. But there is a whole world of opportunity for you to engage them in the meantime. So you, I don't know, you do the, the game for the Football World Cup or whatever it is. You, uh, you run a hashting campaign that's a cashback coupon redemption. You've got those consumers engaged with you right there. Don't hope they remember come Sunday night. Give them that information there and then. And as I say, try and, try and personalize is it based on what we know about them, where they are, what the weather is, um, what device they're using, the time of day, that kind of stuff, um, and own that data. Don't, don't rely on Tesco to sell your products where it says other customers liked, you might also purchase. Did you know competitors on offer? Own that purchase experience and get the data and the insights off the back of it. Thank you, thank you. I'm not moving anytime soon because my Tesco works at 10 p.m. on Sunday, so. <laughs> but thank you. Excellent thank idea. You. Thanks. Thank you. Thoughts on Dota? Yeah, again, um, we're going to be talking in a little bit. I think I'm moderating the panel on death of e-commerce. I don't personally believe we are there yet, but you know, it's a big, um, big area that we are exploring both with our own brands in DTC and through partnerships. Uh, so we'd love to continue the conversation. Why don't we start with a drum roll and then announce the winner of the brand challenge for this afternoon. And the winner is... Tough one, tough one. Uh, and the winner is um, Shopping Dota, isn't it? Dota. Dota, yeah. Dota. That's All right, my Naomi. personal Brett favorite. Congratulations. Yeah. Very close to our business. Thank you so much, Very Come Congratulations. But on. very happy to talk to the rest of the folks as well. <laughs> Get a, a quick photo. It's all about the trip.